The search for a man in Oregon who authorities believe was targeting victims on dating apps is over. The suspect is now dead. Overnight, police and Benjamin Foster were locked in a tense standoff for several hours until a SWAT team stormed the home where he had barricaded himself. Our Lilia Luciano is in Grants Pass, Oregon this morning with this all unfolded. I want to warn you, some of the details you are about to hear are disturbing. Lilia, good morning. Good morning to you, David. Every detail about this story is disturbing, and we hope to learn more from police. Like, why did that standoff end here at the victim's house last night after a week-long manhunt? What happened was that police eventually found Benjamin Foster hiding under that crawl space under the house, and that's when they closed in on him. The intensive search for Benjamin Foster strangely ended where it began, at a home where police say he bound and tortured his victim, nearly killing her. Our cameras were there during the standoff. Pops and bangs rang out on what neighbors say is a usually quiet street in Grants Pass, a small city in southwest Oregon. Come out with your hands up. They approached behind large shields, assembling in a line, then moved in. After the standoff, Foster was brought to the hospital, where police say he died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. On Tuesday, police posted a photo of Foster from earlier in the day, where you can see him walking a dog in town. That prompted law enforcement to swarm the area. Last week, police got close to catching the 36-year-old some 20 miles away, but he escaped. There, they did charge a 68-year-old woman accused of helping him get away and warn the public that he was still active on dating apps, perhaps to find an accomplice or another victim. As this was not the first time he was accused of a crime. In 2017, a partner accused him of trying to strangle her. And in 2019, Foster was charged with assaulting his then girlfriend in her home in Las Vegas, tying her up for two weeks, severely beating her before she could escape. Foster faced decades behind bars, but took a plea deal and was released from prison the same day he arrived because of time already served in jail. Out of respect for the victim's privacy, we're not disclosing her identity, but I did hear back from some of her friends who late last night expressed some relief, saying that Foster can no longer hurt other women and that they just hope their girl, their friend, wakes up, that she recovers. Tony. Yeah, a lot of questions about that plea deal, Lilia. Thank you very much. Moving on now to a sigh of relief in Omaha, Nebraska this morning after police took quick action to stop what could have become another mass shooting in this country in a store filled with customers. Police say that calls from 911 were pouring in shortly before noon yesterday when a white man in his 30s entered a Target store and was firing from an AR-15 style rifle. That suspect was shot dead by responding officers within six minutes of those first calls for help. And according to the police chief, the suspect had plenty of ammunition had they not arrived. Fortunately and amazingly, no one was hurt. Tragedy averted there.